you've just put your baby to sleep. They've been asleep for 30 minutes and you're like, thank God they're still asleep. Five minutes later, you hear them whimpering and crying. You're like, oh my gosh, they're awake again. Then you want to start crying. And why do you want to start crying? Because you don't want to put them on your breast. You're hurting, you're in pain, you've got cracked nipples. I totally understand you. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Cracked nipples and what you can do to help your nipples. This is Shiro Shera with Nurturing Moms. So if you're having cracked nipples and experiencing pain when you're breastfeeding, it's not because your baby has a very strong suction reflex that you're feeling pain. It's probably because of the latch. The latch is usually the issue, not how a strong a suck your baby has, because they definitely do have very strong sucks. Now, one thing every breastfeeding mom needs to have at home with her or in her diaper bag is lanolin, 100% hospital grade lanolin all right i can already people uh, hear people asking me what about arimis what about ky jelly what about the lanolin that i use for pedicures absolutely not i usually go and visit moms and that's a lanolin i find that white one that you put on your feet when you're having a pedicure and i want to scream like who gave you that then they're like okay the pharmacist told me this will work no it needs to be 100% hospital grade lanolin. And that lanolin is usually yellow. So no KY, please no. No um, lanolin, that one that you use for your pedia manicures, no. It needs to be 100% hospital grade lanolin. And it's yellow in color. The, you can get from, a, from the hospital when you're being discharged, your pediatrician or OBS gynae can discharge you with that. You can get from Avent, from Lansino, from Medela. They have the pure 100% hospital grade lanolin and why lanolin lanolin has an, a healing effect on your nipple at the same time it, it helps to lubricate your nipple now with lanolin you don't have to keep wiping your breast every time your baby needs to feed because you had applied it no just put your baby on the breast even if you had applied the lanolin five minutes ago okay you'll find that the lanolin is quite thick and i'm going to show you with mine just for a minute it's usually very thick so you actually have to spread it in between your fingertips to kind of warm it and spread it so that it can become a bit softer. And then you apply on your nipple and the areola. And it's safe for your baby to come and breastfeed immediately. So if you're having cracked nipples, what you should do, squeeze out, squeeze out a little milk from your, uh, from your nipple and then apply on the, lip, on the nipple. Let it air dry. Okay, so have your breasts out and let it air dry. Hopefully there's no one in the room. Once they're air dry, then apply the lanolin on the nipple. That's going to help you. So let's stop using uh, KY jelly or the wrong lanolin. Ask for the right lanolin. And the right lanolin is 100% hospital grade lanolin. So if you do choose to use a remit, you choose to use uh, coconut oil, olive oil, all the things that moms I know use, You've got to know you've got to wipe it off before your baby latches on your breast. But with 100% hospital grade lanolin, you don't have to. It's usually available in hospitals, in pharmacies, and in baby shops around the city. So please look for it. If you're having painful breasts, even after uh, using the lanolin, the right one that I'm talking to you about, you need to see a lactation specialist. And here at Nurturing Moms, we do offer uh, lactation support where we walk the journey with you to find out what's wrong with your latch. We help you to find the good latch for your baby so that the breastfeeding journey should be pain-free and enjoyable. I wish you the very best. This is Shiro Shiera with Nurturing Moms.